What up YouTube? It's The Ways and I'm Tia and we're back with another video. Yes, we're doing makeup my way, of course. And today, if you did not read the thumbnail, okay, if you just clicked on the video because you support your girl, then today we are getting into Stranger Things. Yes, I'm excited about this collab between Stranger Things and Mac. And yes, I did say Mac. I never predicted that I would showcase Mac products on my channel, but here we are because they did a collab with Stranger Things. So I'm so excited. Um, I'm gonna show you some Mac products that I have been eyeing and I wanted to try out for a while and then we're gonna get into this palette. And you know, and if you don't know, I got the upside down one. I thought it was definitely calling my name. So uh, yes, if you wanna see some MAC products in action and check out this Stranger Things palette, talk a little bit about Stranger Things because yes, I'm all caught up. Like I already watched season one, season two, season three. And then guess what? I watched them again. And then I went and watched season four and I'm excited for the rest of season four. Plus my daughter put me on game that season five is going to drop. So I'm so excited. So if you're excited about Stranger Things, excited to see this Mac stuff, definitely please keep watching. We will talk and we will chat. Um, but first, go ahead and subscribe if you're not part of the fam. What are you waiting for? Go ahead and hit that notification bell so you will be updated every time I drop a new video, okay? Give me a huge thumbs up if you're feeling the vibe on this channel. Ooh, ooh, look at this shirt though. Yes. Uh, let's get into this video. Lego. Yes, so I'm so excited about this Mac collab with Stranger Things. I'm obsessed with Stranger Things and no, Jada did not watch Stranger Things before me. I started watching it and she got on the bandwagon and now she thinks she knows more than me. So yes, I did go back and I started to watch from the beginning. It had been a couple years since they had dropped the actual first episodes. So I was like, you know what? I need to go back, like take me back. So um, we went back and I rewatched it. I probably binge watched it in about a week um, off three seasons. And it was just as good the second time as it was the first time. So going back, we're going to go way back with this Pro Longwear paint pot um, in Pinchers. They use this as a eyeshadow base. And this is what she looks like. I got a color that really looks like my skin tone um, to just even out my eye. But I also just want to try it because I like pot products. And I know that this is like a cult favorite when it comes to MAC. Or an eyeshadow base so there she is and I'm just gonna go in um, just so you know I did go ahead and do my brows I'll have that listed in the description box below what I used if I can find it because <laughs> it is an older product and I was just like let me go in here and use this I did clean up my brows with the NARS natural radiant creamy concealer and caramel I want to bring that bad boy out to just like start using my products this paint pot, um, I was going to go on with my finger, but I had already had my brush. But you just see, it's just a creamy base, but it dries pretty fast. So I would work with one eye and then I would move to the next eye. I would not put some down, put some down and then go back to blend it out. I would kind of just do one eye at a time because it does dry fast and it does dry to like a matte consistency if you're really dry I would definitely hydrate your lids so I want to try this new sponge this sponge by June and Co I think that's what it's called Juno and Co microfiber velvet sponge y'all this might be the truth this is so soft I did dampen it I don't know. There's something about this sponge that I'm loving. And you know I am a brush kind of girl. But I think I really like that sponge. I'm going to go in and use it to do my foundation today as well. But 
Yeah, so most of the products that I got from MAC are eye related. I only got like four or five products to be real with you. I'm not a huge MAC person. I never jumped on that bandwagon. Um, the one time I did try MAC, I bought the cream to powder foundation and it was beautiful. It was the color. It was the perfect tone for me. Um, I love the coverage, but I broke out and that was not the business so from then on i stopped using using it i've never used any mac shadows so this will be the first time so we will put them to the test for sure and even though i love stranger things i'm gonna be real with you if this would not have been a stranger things collab i would not have bought this palette but i love stranger things so let me show you the palette so i got the upside down they had two. Oh, i have to show you what else i got because I bought so much, I got uh, Hawkins Tigers a fanny pack. Yes. If you don't know, I am filling a good fanny pack right now. Like, they are everything to me. And this just, like, when it said buy so much to get the free fanny, fanny pack, I said, fine, you got me because I have to get the fanny pack. So there are two palettes. And there's this one that was the Hawkins themed palette, which the color story was cool. I'll pop up a picture of it, but it's not my aesthetics. It was very bright and um, there were not a lot of deep tones to it. So I wasn't really feeling that part of it. But when I seen the upside down, I said, yes, yes. I don't know why this dog and him are going at it. Please, please. Okay, so I'm glad I got this pal this video out to you guys because it looks like the stuff is on sale right now on Ulta, which is where I bought my products. Um, the one palette, the MAC Time Stranger Thing Hawkins Class of 1986 eye palette um, goes for $31.50 right now, normally $45. I did pay full price. The other one is the one that I got, which is the MAC Time Stranger Things The Void eye palette. Uh, for $45 going for $31.50 there was blushes there were brushes there were lip glosses I opted in just for the palette mostly nostalgia reasons you guys like if you watch the show then you already know that this is the upside down when you open the palette it has a nice little mirror it has this little paper sleeve which I'm going to keep and then this is the color story and out of the two, this called my name the most. I hope you are getting the true vibe of this palette. It is what an eight pan eyeshadow palette. We have a black, we have a matte red, and we have this matte, and then the rest are shimmers. I'm going to go ahead and throw up some swatches, and then we will get into this look. Here are swatches of the Stranger Things and MAC collab, the Void palette and natural sunlight on my skin tone. Okay, so those eye swatches were interesting, very pretty. I'm very excited. I like that it's a little gloomy and deep. I really like this paint pot. It still feels, it's dry, but it's still a little sticky, so I think that's gonna be good for the shadows. Even if I wasn't doing the shadows, I think this could be an everyday go-to just to even out my skin tone and not have to set it with powder and it just like look like natural and i'm awake and the paint pot goes for 23 dollars let's see how it performs now i did try the mac paint pot one time actually it's a crazy story i was in the atlanta airport visiting my husband for the first time actually we just got married and that's a whole nother story yes i said we just met and we just got married but anyways whole nother story for you um and tell me why I missed my plane back to Phoenix and there was a Mac in there and I had been wanting to try the paint pot for a while, but I never went over and got it. And then the Mac was in the airport and I said, let me just get it to make me feel better. Okay. And I got the paint pot, but I never really used it that much. So I can't, can't really give you my thoughts on that too much. 
on how it really performed. Okay, so I think I have how I think I want to go into this eye look. I really think all these shimmers are very pretty. But I think I'm going to go ahead and start with Code Red. Okay, so Code Red was like, you know, they had all the different characters. You had Will, you had Mike, you had Lucas, and you had Dustin. And they were like the nerdy group. The nerdy kids in school. If you haven't seen it, I'm not going to tell you too much because I don't want to give it away. And I definitely recommend watching and binge watching Stranger Things. It is bomb. Um, and I like all different types of shows. I'm not just into like sci-fi or anything like that or scary stuff. Like I like all different types of shows and I definitely recommend Stranger Things. I love that red because it is a red red. It's bringing up more red than orange for me and I really like that. So anyways... Code Red, they would speak on these walkies because the Stranger Things is set back in the 80s, which I am an 80s baby. So I think that's another thing that really draws me into the whole show. But yeah, they were like, they weren't the cool kids. They were the nerdy kids. And they had walkie talkies to talk to each other. And any time anything went bad or they really needed you to you know show up it was code red so i like that they picked that for this shade okay it's blending out pretty nicely i think the base works pretty good i don't feel like i have to like tap it out to ensure i don't have any creasing so yeah my, out of all of them my favorite character is uh so there's other characters there is l or 11 who came into place and she's a female I'm not gonna give it all away but she kind of was a special baby and has special powers and then uh, there's also Max that came in I think Max came in yeah Max came in the second season redhead blue eyes so cute um, and she plays a very important part in season four for sure and then there's also my so my favorite character is Dustin and he's like a curly headed Caucasian little boy with a dirty mouth. OK, like he has a really dirty mouth and I think it's hilarious. Not that I want my 11, 12 year old talking like him, but it's so funny. So then my second favorite character is Erica and she is Lucas's sister. And they're the only two black kids in the show. And his sister, Lucas is a little buster. I'm just going to admit it. Like, I'm not really feeling Lucas too much. But Erica is a freaking G. Okay? And she got a little potty mouth too. Just like Luke, uh, just like Dustin. And I don't know. I just love those two characters. They are my favorite. Definitely love Eleven. But those two are on top of my list okay i think that's blended out pretty good i have an idea guys just bear with me on this look and it is related to the palette and i also want to point out for one it says mac stranger things and if you see the um sky is upside down because this is the upside down world and this is dark so then when you flip it that would be the normal world where you're um sky is up top but it wouldn't be dark and gloomy in the little specks like they did i really feel like they came correct with the theming um for this palette and even the hawkins palette i think they did their thing so that's another reason why i wasn't so mad that it was mac because <laughs> you know but th that color blended out very well. Not patchy, not not kick up in in the uh, pan. And I went in with a rougher 15. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're, we're going to darken this up. We're going with the upside down. So we're doing upside down vibes, okay? With a little extra sum sum. I'm just going to get this little mini Morphe brush that I've used plenty of times on my channel that I got in a boxy charm. Y'all. Y'all know how much I raved about Boxy Charm, but you know what? I canceled. I canceled my subscription. I know. Moment of silence for Boxy Charm. I was just like not happy lately, and I was like, you know what? I could take 
that money and I could spend it on things that I really, really want right now and then maybe pick up later. Maybe they'll get back better. I don't know. It was nice getting, you know, stuff every month, but I think it was time for a cool off. Okay, so now we're going into the color Void, which is the name of the palette. And Void is, you know, it's like, Something goes away, you void it out. And I think I think the concept is we're voiding out the uh, real world and going to the upside down. In the upside down, it looks just like the real world, but not. And that's all I'm going to say. If you haven't watched it, watch it. So we're just taking this in the corner V. Pretty nice black. I feel like some of the blacks that I've used recently I like a little bit better, but it's not patchy. It's blending out. Maybe I don't want it to be too harsh anyways. Um, I definitely think it's more of a gray toned black, not deep, 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 deep. And maybe I could build it up. So one thing I want to speak on is the fact that... Uh, Okay, there's a couple things I want to speak on. The first thing let's speak on is the mom, which is Joyce. Okay, I did write a couple little notes because I wanted to remember and I tend to forget things. Joyce, which is Will's mother. And I'm not going to, like I said, I don't want to give too much if you never watched it. But Will's mom play is played by Winona Ryder. If you are an 80s baby, okay, you know about Winona Ryder. Can we talk Beetlejuice? Can we say Edward Scissorhands? Okay, and many, many more, but those are two of my favorite that she played in, um, two of my favorite 80s movies for sure. And uh, so when I seen her in Stranger Things, I was like, okay, this is kind of up her alley, different vibe, right? And we haven't seen Winona Ryder in a while, like, but she did amazing. She's doing amazing in this show. She's older. I think she's like 50 now and she's killing it. She did such, she brought such a great vibe. All the adults in this show are really, really good. I think they did really good, really, really good as, as well as the children that played in this show. And you got to realize, like, the first episodes were a couple years ago. These people have grown up, like, grown up. You'd be like, what the heck? Eleven look totally different. So um, I think Winona Ryder made me happy by seeing her in this show for sure. Okay, so I'm just kind of feathering this black into the middle but just really keeping it on the outside so if you see the vibe of the palette is kind of the vibe of our eye look okay i'm so excited that they brought it back and came back with full of vengeance now the new episodes at first i was like what the heck is going on it's not the same vibe but there was a reason for that and i appreciate it once i got to the end of the fourth season which it's not the fourth it's not the end they only did a couple shows and they're gonna relaunch the second part of the fourth season on july 1st i believe my daughter told me so i will be ready and hopefully you will be caught up by then if i get this video up in time if you haven't seen it to start watching it so that's kind of the vibe. I want to make sure they're even. I'm going to go in a little bit more on this side. So let's, before we get into, yeah, let's get into the next color. And then, yeah, I kind of like that. I think that's looking good. So the next character I kind of want to talk about is Eleven, which is also L. <laughs> she loved her some freaking Eggo waffles, okay? And every time I eat an Eggo waffle, why do I think of Eleven? It's so weird, but it's so true. Okay, I want to talk about Eleven and my thoughts, but before we do that, we're going to go into the next shade, and I'm going to go into a shimmer shade. I'm going to go in with this brush, which is by Echo Tools. It's a two-sided brush. It's just a flat fluffy type brush and I'm going to go into the color Mind Slayer which is like this gray tone. I haven't swatched it yet but you've seen the swatches. 
Because these two on the end kind of look alike. The Mother Gate and Mind Slayer, but they're not. So Mind Slayer is good because it's like the, the thing is in your mind. I, I can't give too much out. Like, you have to see the show. So let's talk about, I'm just going to press this in and see what it do. I'm going to take it all over the lid. So let's talk about uh, Eleven, which is also L in the show. Um, she, it trips me out because her name is Millie Bobby Brown, if you don't know who she is, and she's a heck of an actress, right? Heck of an actress. But she also has her own makeup line called Florence, and, like, if anybody should have done a Stranger Things collab, I would have thought it would have been her. Because, for one, people love Eleven, and then for her to drop her own line... And then Stranger Things comes out with Mac. I would have been like, um, why can't I get that collab though? That would have put Florence on the map. I have bought some Florence products for my daughter for Christmas last year. Because she really likes Millie Bobby Brown. Um, I don't know. And I guess there was this whole thing where like her and Drake were like texting each other. Kind of weird. I don't know. I mean, I don't know. It could have been so harmless and people just blew it out of proportion. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of that color. That's a really pretty color. I really think it's really gorgeous. And I'm going to spray it a little bit. But why are they trying to put little girls with Drake? Like, can we can we let him live his best life? I'm so confused. But anyways, um, oh yeah. Spraying it gave it more of a satiny, sheeny effect. Which I'm kind of okay with. You know, when you have these indie brands that are killing the shadow game when it comes to shimmers, this one's pretty, but it's it's okay. You know, it's okay. So, anyways, I was just surprised that she didn't drop the line herself. The collab. She has a whole makeup business. I mean, she hasn't dropped any makeup makeup. She has a brow product. She has, like, a couple brow products, like a a gel and you know some face stuff I guess it is more skincare based but that would have been perfect for her to like launch her makeup part of the brand um which I would have thought would have been really dope and I think if this club didn't get as much hype I think it really would have got tons of hype if it would have been under her brand not to knock mac by any means because there's a lot of people that like mac but the demographic for stranger things is younger than the demographic for mac clientele so i just think that it would have hit harder would have hit different and i think she her line could have blown up especially when you have all this competition with all these uh, actors and stuff coming out with makeup lines I think that it would have just been totally fitting for her to collab but not to mention she has one of the best characters on the show okay I'm gonna conceal and then I'm gonna come back and we're gonna do the bottom part of the eyes and then we will get into some other MAC products that I did pick up and talk some more stranger things okay I know I'm looking a little Tasty or whatever, but um, I just went in and concealed this sponge does it's still big But it does dry up pretty fast But I'm okay with that because then I was able to sit underneath my eyes with my powder and it was good So I am really liking that sponge. Let's do the bottom part of the eyes So what I want to do because I want to bring the whole theme together with the packaging from here and from the actual box so because <sighs> krill house kill ha krill house krill house this blue is in here i think i want to go in with that so let's see how we want to do this i think i'm going to take my color switch another thing is there's other characters there's nancy nancy is mike's sister she plays a very important part of the show there's steve he's awesome which at one point was nancy's let me be quiet uh steve he's awesome um i really like mike's 
uh, Will's brother, but I forgot his name for some reason. Urgh. And then a really important character in the fourth season, like I said, was Max. And we met Max in season two and her brother, Billy. And in season three, they really came to life with Billy. And it was this whole thing. It was really, really good. Um, so... I don't know. I just really like Max for Christmas. I'm going to take that color Hill House, Krill House, and I'm going to drop it underneath my eye. So a lot of these colors, too, are from the upside down. So, you know, the mother gate, that's the gate between the two worlds. Um, demo, demo bat which you see, I believe, in season four. It just has a lot to do with the upside down. So anyways, like I was saying, um, I have bought my daughter a book in relation to Max for Christmas last year. And then it was crazy that she was a huge part of season four so far. Which, season four is trippy Or -er. It's just on a different scale of what they normally do or normally have done. And I actually kind of like it. It's just different. And it took me, it kept me, like, coming back to watch it to see, okay, what's going to happen next? Like, what are we doing here? Did they disappoint me or is this bomb? And it is bomb. Um, I wish it popped more, but it's a dark blue, so it's giving me a smoky vibe. That's cool. It's a good way to use colors that wouldn't necessarily, let me get in focus, blend well together like the reds and the blues. So this is a way to still get both colors in there, but, um, not get like a muddy effect from your shadow. But I think that blue is very pretty. I would wear it by itself. We're going to do a little inner corner highlight moment and then I'm going to finish my face and then we'll come back and work on some of these other MAC products that I picked up that I've been wanting to try for a very, very long time. Actually, I'm not going to do a pencil. I'll do this Luna Lunar Beauty brush. It's just a flat wedge brush that I can really get in here. And I'm going to go into the color Spores. And they kept you, they kept us hanging, um, definitely on season four with these couple episodes and just left us like dead in the water. Okay. <laughs> it's crazy. So we're just going to drop this color in our inner corner to brighten. I did spray it and I'm going to drop it at the bottom. I feel like when I spray these shadows, they just turn weird. It brightened up for sure. And it is like a blue. I didn't realize that it had a blue undertone till right now. So that's kind of cool. It goes with the sparkly blue. I just was not expecting the texture. Okay, y'all probably like, oh my goodness, Tia. Is this going to come together? It's going to come together. This one, you have to trust the process. And like they say in Stranger Things, friends don't lie. And I consider us friends. So, trust the process. I'll be right back. Let me do my face. And then I have a new mascara. Remember, friends don't lie. Which means, friends, subscribe, like, and hit that notification bell. Okay, y'all. So, I am feeling this look so far. We're missing a couple things, but we're going to finish it all up. Let me just tell you what I have done while we were gone real quick. Okay, so. hopefully we're kind of back in focus. My battery died. But anyways, I've been going in with this Touch and Soul Pretty Filter Icy Shermer, Sherbert Primer. Um, for concealer, you already know I went in with the NARS Creamy. Uh, concealer what I did was I did my face and I did my foundation I mixed two different foundations because we went swimming yesterday and I just felt like 
good little color plus i have these two foundations that i've been trying to use up because one is a little darker and it's by natasha denona and it's the foundation x plus full coverage but it's too dark for me so i also mixed it with this per perlice ageless glow bb cream and spf 40 so i mixed these two together and this is kind of what we got it was a very very glowy so i did go ahead and set it as i also set underneath my eyes with my charlotte tilbury powder and number two the flawless complexion extra name powder which i will have in the description of this video okay so after i did that it still felt a little dark so i went ahead and highlighted a little bit more just on the outskirts and in my forehead and whatnot in here just to brighten up and even out this tone so what that shows you is i took three products and made it work for me i mean do i want to have to do that absolutely not but if i'm going to uh use up my products that I have and sometimes you got to get a little creative for bronzer I went in with the LYS no limits matte bronzer and this is in strength which is dark I thought it'd be fitting to put a little bit more redness and dimension and darkness into my face meaning being that I mix those two uh, foundations together because one is very light and also has SPF so it kind of gives off that ashy vibe but very hydrating and then the other one's a little too dark so with this it just evened everything out as well as setting my face plus this bronzer is just bomb like even just using it today i was like dang i need to start using this bronzer more this is very very nice um for blush believe it or not i went back into our stranger things palette and i used code red as my blush and i think it worked out perfect for this look and as a nice blush yeah see multi-purpose use your stuff in different ways nothing there are no rules in makeup just do what it do do what it do and I love what that did because that's what I wanted was a red blush and instead of buying the blush that they launched that Mac launch that's a good way to get your red blush without going and spending a whole bunch more money so yes i like that oh and then in my waterline i went in with uh mally eyeliner it's a waterproof eyeliner and i actually like it i have been using the ColourPop eyeliners i think they irritate my eyes i don't think i'm loving them as much as i want it to which is sad because i have tons of colors and i really like having different colors to put in my waterline but every time i did it my eyes start to water this i'm not watering so i'll definitely have it listed below it's in the color onyx and it is a, a ever color gel waterproof liner so maybe it's the waterproof because i think that's what would happen is i would start to tear up and it would just be a hot mess so okay so the next product that i wanted to try from mac so that's everything i did on my face and like i said everything will be in the description of this video okay i feel like i'm all over the place this video but anyways so i've been wanting to try the max fix a plus forever and it is a setting spray so i went ahead and got me a mini so i could try it out i think it was for 16 dollars. so i'm gonna give it a little spritz haven't used it okay not bad mm. does have a little bit of a heavier spritz than um some and i do see some dots on my face but that's okay if it works then it works i like the smell it smells like kind of fresh it's nothing too major so that was the third product from max mac that i want to try so you can still see and i got the dewy effect one so just the regular original so we'll see how that sets and it wears throughout the day um i'll update the down below where i leave the description on what the video is about i'll also put how that wore throughout the day because i am going to work all right the next product this is new i bought a mini and this is the infinite build volume plus length mascara super stack mega brush by mac so stack mascara this has been raving all over the place it's been a huge hype 
I love a good mascara. As you know, I don't wear a lot of lashes. I have a lot of foolproof mascaras that I do love, but if I can find another one, I don't mind spending money on a mascara if it's what I want. So when I went and bought this mascara, there were two different styles. They had a bigger brush or a longer brush for longer lashes and a smaller brush for smaller lashes. I think what would have been smart is for them to add both brushes on one mascara. So one in with the big brush, one in with the small brush, kind of like your Huda Beauty mascara that she has, one for volume, one for length. Um, that way I could use a small brush for my lower lash line if I want to without having to buy two mascaras. So yeah, I think we're going to try this out and we're going to see what it do. I'm going to do one lash. Ooh, look at that. So look at the brush before I start. It's huge and it is not a brush. It is more of those plastic pieces, which I don't mind depending on the formula. I do like the sleek packaging though. I like do like that. Okay, so let me get me a mirror wall. Sometimes you gotta work with the mascara a couple times to see how you like it. So that inner corner highlight though is bussin'. I take back what I said. What your Mac <laughs> shimmers. Okay. Well I'm like glad I'm not getting a whole mess. I feel like it's a little bit of a drier formula. It has a little bit of a smell to it, but nothing too bad. That's with one coat. I think it's kind of hard to see. I'll get a little closer. It's kind of hard to see with all these dark colors I have going on my eyes. So there you can see with and without for sure giving some length. The brush, I'm not mad at. I actually kind of like it because it's separating my lashes. It's not clumping them together. Okay, I can get into this inner part. I'm not getting a whole bunch of mascara on my lid. And I can get to the root. Like going like this. So that's kind of cool. Okay. Okay, let me do another coat. I'm going to go back in. And like I said, I got a mini. I want to try it before I buy the full set, the full one. You guys know I'm a little cheap, though. It does definitely open my eyes up. I like this look. It is Stranger, like Stranger Things. But yeah, you guys have to definitely check out the show. It's on Netflix. It's so worth it. And I had this shirt years ago. This is not something I just bought. I have another one that has all the characters on it. Like, it is not a joke. It is not a game. Okay, the second coat is definitely doing it for me. Definitely. Because I like a little bit more clumpy clump. So if you just like a natural lash, one coat is good. If you want a little bit more ease. Two coats is better. I like that. It's like curling my lashes. Too. Well, you know, for the most part, my lashes are already naturally curly, but I feel like it's lifting and curling. I'm really trying to test this out for you. I like it. I got the volume I want in two coats. I really like it. If you do have shorter lashes, I might say go with the smaller brush, but look at that. Hold on. Look at that. Look at that length. Look at that volume. Look at that lift. Yeah, I'm definitely feeling this mascara. All right, let me even out the other eye. Yes, so this is the final look using the MAC products and featuring the Stranger Things The Void palette. And I am loving it. I felt like this video was a little strange, but that's okay. I felt like maybe I was in the upside down for a minute through some of this video too. And I hope you really like this 80s slash Stranger Things 
um, inspired look because I had so much fun playing with these products for my lips. I went in with the L'Oreal Paris Liquid Lipstick in Armored for 60 and I just really put it in the middle and blended it out like so. And then I went in with a clear gloss by Stila just on top. I just felt like red was fitting. It's just, I couldn't stop with the red. Okay, so yes. Um, let's just go over these MAC products really quick. So the Stranger Things palette, I absolutely love the color story. I think the colors blended really nice. I do like the quality of the shadows. I think if you love this color story or if you just love Stranger Things, then I definitely say go get you one because it is nostalgic. And honestly, I don't know how long it's going to be here, but if you love Stranger Things or you love the matte quality or you love this color story, then I definitely think it's worth it, especially as it being on sale right now. Hopefully when I get this, today is um june 12th so the stuff was on sale hopefully i get this video up early for you guys so that way if these products are still on sale you're able to get them but yes on the palette and i'm so happy that i have it in my collection the mac uh pro longwear paint pop i like Definitely. I'm going to play with it more. I'm going to bring it to you more on my channel, but I love the tone. I love how it blended out the shadows. Um, I don't see any creasing, so that is a positive, and I really think that this is a good MAC product and worth the hype. The next one that I tried was the MAC uh, Fix Plus, and you know, it's a mini. I go through setting sprays like nobody's business so I'm excited to try this one out I have lipstick on my teeth <laughs> I'm just excited to try this one out and see how it performs um and see if it will be a holy grail of mine I don't know but I do think you know for what it supposed to do so far I think it's doing it we'll see how it lasts throughout the day and then the last product that I tried from MAC is the MAC stack mascara I like it I think my eyelashes look long I think you can get a little clump clump if you're not careful but I like a little clump clump but if you don't then this might not be the mascara for you um, unless you go in with a heavy hand and work with it. Also, the brush is, is pretty big. But like I said, you can get a smaller one. You have that option. So there are options here. I'd say definitely worth trying a mini, just like I did, to see if it's something that you'll want to do more often. So yes, thank you so much for spending your time with me. I hope you like this look. It's a little dark. It's a little mysterious. It's a little strange. Go watch Stranger Things. I'm telling you, look out for Dustin, look out for Elle, Mike, Lucas, you know, Will, Nancy, Steve, Joyce, Proper. I forgot to mention him, but he's awesome. He's he's definitely a, a star uh, character in this story. He's one of the officers and he's an amazing actor. Great acting in this show. Definitely worth your time and energy to watch it. I definitely think watching it the second time around just gave me more insight on the whole vibe of the show. And I'm absolutely in love. I'll probably cry if it goes away. So Stranger Things, I guess. Definitely give me a big thumbs up if you're feeling the vibe and you like this look. Go ahead and definitely drop a black heart in the comments if you're liking this look or something that maybe you can recreate. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you're not part of the fam game gang. What you waiting for? Hit that notification bell so you can be updated every time I drop a new video. And yeah, let me know in the comments. Do you watch Stranger Things? Are you going to start watching Stranger Things? Was it on your radar and now you're like, thanks Tia, I'm going to go ahead and check it out. Or you're like, I'm still good. I'm still good. Let me know. I want to hear your thoughts. Um, thank you so much for spending your time with me and have a great day. Peace.